Welcome everyone back to the Excel course for professionals. Today I want to cover the exercises that I assigned last time on the other video. And we are going to go over them step by step so you understand how everything works. So here were the exercises that I assigned last video. I gave you a couple of conditions and I asked you to create a relational expression based on these conditions. Now, word of warning that I'm not going to do this one. This one, you'll have to stay tuned on how to actually get this one done. Because you can't really compare strings with less than or greater than signs in VBA. You have to use another function. But stay tuned. I'm going to go over that. So, But what I will go over is I'm going to go over these three here. So let's take a look. So I've already give, given myself the liberty to declare the variables here. And I've also declared a variable to hold the Boolean result. Because remember, relational operators, relational expressions will always give you a true or false value. And that's what we're looking for here. So let's take a look real quick. And I'll rewrite the expression, which is letter must weigh no more than one ounce. Now. If you're, if you're wondering why I'm writing a single quote here, single quote means it's a it's a comment. So you're commenting your code so that the VBA compiler does not process it. So everything else will process it. These are the declarations. And now we're going to write the relational statement for this. Just say result is equal to. And now I'm going to use my relational operator. So if you read the statement, it says letter must weigh no more than one ounce, which means it, ca it cannot be greater than an ounce. So what is the opposite of not greater than in terms of your relational operators? Well, it's got to be less than, right? And I'm we're going to assume that it's not inclusive, so not inclusive of one. So we can say that letter is less than one. So whatever value that letter is, this will never return a true because unless that letter is less than one. So we're satisfying this condition. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. If I set letter to two, two is less than one, that's going to give you a false, which will not satisfy this condition. But if I put in a zero, then this condition will be true which means that letter is, is not going to weigh more than one ounce. Well, that's what, that's what the relational expression is. For the next one is easy. Any code but m use the same variable. And we can say that code is not equal to m. Because you want any code except m. So the expression that we use is not equal to, which is a less than and greater than sign together. So if I put in the letter, the code L, L is not equal to M, so that's true. So it satisfies this condition. But if I put in the code M, then M not equal to M is false. So it will not satisfy this condition. So in order for me to satisfy this condition, Obviously, you have to have a value for code, but it will take care of what I'm trying to accomplish with this particular condition. Next would be score must be higher than 70. We'll do the same thing. We'll say result is equal to score. And now it's got to be higher than 70 right got to be higher than 70 so we can't do less than 70 because that means it's going to be less than so whatever value I put in for score it's always going to be true if it's less than 70 I don't want that what you want is you want score is greater than 70 and if you test it out and you say score is equal to let's say 80 80 is greater than 70 so it satisfies what I'm trying to accomplish with this condition. 
and if they try to sneak a number less than 70 then this will always give you a false so it won't satisfy this condition which is fine because the condition says that it's got to be higher than 70 so it, ha it handles both cases okay in the case where it's true then it will be higher than 70 so whatever is 80 and then if if you're still trying to satisfy this condition it won't because if score is 30 then this will return a false so it will still satisfy this condition because it's not higher than 70 okay so it sounds a little bit confusing but it's gonna get a little less confusing when you start doing conditional operators such as if else statements but for now what you need to understand is one how to interpret conditions such as these and create a relational operator for it and two how to actually write them how to actually write them. okay okay so next video I'm going to go over or and 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 we're gonna kinda of follow the same path of just evaluating the expression how it how it behaves and then from then on we're gonna start moving on to if else statements using uh, using these relational operators by then you should have mastered these so that you understand how they behave if you have any questions you can always contact me at parttime magic at gmail.com which I'm about to change that email but I'll just keep it just in case uh, and you can check out my web website parttimeadjunct.com thanks <laughs>